Hi, boys and girls. We're back with lesson 2-5 on prime and composite numbers. And our math message is this. List all the factor pairs for the numbers 2, 4, 5, 10, 11, and 16 in your notebook. All right, you should be recording all of them. Um, I'm also going to make available this sheet here uh, for you to do that as well. And I would like you to either show me a picture of this work or submit through Cami this, okay? So that's gonna be one way I see that you've watched the video. All right, so anyway, let's get into it. Uh, get the work done, pause, and when you are ready, uh, unpause and we can get into it, okay? So um, I hope that you've figured this out and shown your work and shared it with me. And let's get on with it. All right, so let's see, drawing tool. And for the number two, we have factors of one and two. Those are our factors, right? We have two factors. We have, for four, we have one, and four, and we also have two. And I like to put a little square around those numbers that are prime, or not prime, but those square numbers. We'll talk about prime numbers in a moment. Don't worry about that. So how about number five? We have one and five, okay? And how about 10? We have one and 10. We also have two and five and 11. One and 11. And then finally, 16. And we have one and 16. We have two and eight. We also have four. Four times four. So, our square numbers, I put in a little box. 16 is a square number. Four is a square number. And the numbers that we multiply by, two times two is four. Four times four is 16. Okay, so that does that make sense? Now, what do we notice about the factor pairs? Four, two, five, and 11. Well, we've had a little sneak preview with this conversation already. And yes, these three numbers here, of these ones that we worked on, have only how many factors? Two. Two factors. And since it's exactly two factors, I don't know why I'm writing this out. exactly two, right? Um, they are prime, all right? And we're gonna talk about what are prime numbers? What are composite numbers? And that is right here. So what are prime and composite numbers? Prime number is a counting number greater than one that has exactly, exactly two different factors, one and the number itself. Okay, and composite number is a counting number greater than one that has more than two different factors. So if we look at these numbers again, 10 is composite because it has one, two, three, four different factors. We have 16 with one, two, three, four, five. Four has one, two, and three. Very close, but not. And then the rest of them have just two, two factors, okay? So 
my goodness, what I, what did I do? Um, <laughs> all right, so we're going to use this idea and really apply it to our work today. Uh, we're working on this table. This is a big, big table, and some of these numbers already have the factors listed. The ones we just worked on, and then we have a whole lot more. So 2, 4, 5, 10, 11, 16. Yep, we've already figured those out, so they're already listed for us. Um, we have 2 with just one and two, so that makes it a prime number, right? And then we have four, one, two, and four. That makes it a composite number, so P for prime, C for composite. And your job is to find the factors for these other numbers going all the way up to 39. And our goal is to try to find additional prime numbers. And it says right here, how many factors does each prime number have? You should probably be able to answer that already. And then a, can a composite number have exactly two factors? And I think you could probably answer that already. But let's work hard on completing this table for our class. All right. That is what our homework or what our work is going to be so that you are prepared for our next class. And when we get to it, we will be doing an activity related to factor captor. Okay, so with that being said, have a fantastic day, and I look forward to seeing you soon with this page completed. Mm.